Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to give you three tips on how to have a happier 2020 and just the rest of your life. So the first one, the people you hang around with, the people you surround yourself with, such as your friends and your family. I'm a big believer in you are a percentage of the people you are around. If you hang around with losers and people that don't have the drive and want to achieve anything in life, you will become a factor of that. You won't push yourself. You won't go and achieve the things that you want to in your life. But then again, if you hang around with people that have drive, they want to achieve things, they have goals, your chances of being successful, they're going to be higher. I've said this previously before, you know, I've come away from a friendship group that, you know, we didn't grow together, we weren't close, um, because I was into different things, and that's okay, and they were into different things, and that's fine. But a lot of people were scared to be on their own for whether that's six months, a year, two years, so they'd rather be in a fake friendship than be on their own and take their time and then find the right people that meant to come in their lives. I was like, you know what? I'd rather be on my own because I can be true to myself. I can understand who I am better and move forward in my life. And then I brought the right people in. I feel so much better, I feel happier, and I'm moving in the right direction. So be aware of the people you hang around with. Number two, what you consume on a daily basis. A lot of people turn around and go, I think social media is really bad for kids growing up, just people in general, you know. Um, and you know, it is scientifically proven, yeah, it has increased rates of depression, but if you're someone that you look at a girl in a bikini picture and it makes you feel bad, do not follow those people. You're only going to make it worse. A lot of people don't want to hear that, but it's true. Have your feed filled with friends that are actually really close to you and profiles that might be like self-development stuff or knowledgeable things that are going to help you in your life. Because a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this, spend ages just scrolling through Instagram aimlessly for no reason at all, getting no benefit. But if you're actually reading stuff that's informative, helping you with your life, your job, where you want to go, it's a win-win. Not sitting there going, I wish I had abs like that. Oh, why don't I have a bum like that? Well, you don't go to the gym, you don't train. So stop complaining and just get working. Then don't follow these people, okay? Don't follow those people. And the third and final one, setting goals. Everyone wonders why they don't go anywhere or they're left stagnant, they're not moving, because they don't set goals. A lot of people think of the really big picture and where they wanna to get to, but they don't break it down and do short term, medium term, and then the long term goals. They just think straight away they're gonna go for it and I'm guilty of this. But setting yourself short goals, achieving them, is going to give you such a reward and make you feel great. And mentally, you're going to be so much stronger too. You're going to feel positive. You're going to want to work hard because you're seeing the rewards, because you're putting that time and effort in and you're being consistent. Setting goals is, is so important. It really is important and you need to do it. I myself was someone who didn't set goals. And I was like, why well, am I just not getting anywhere in my life? And I made it essential this year that I was going to change my life. And I'm gonna stick by that. That doesn't just mean financially or business-wise. Understanding myself, being in a position what, that I'm happy with, you know, that I'm able to create content on a daily basis that I enjoy, I'm free. And for me, it's I just want to be free. I don't have to worry about money too much and I'm around people that inspire me and I just want to work hard every single day. So you need to set goals. They don't have to be crazy. Some people don't. They could just be small goals that are just, you know, making sure that you tidy your room every single day, building up that discipline. And or some people, you know, you want to build a big company. Like it doesn't matter. I think a lot of people they they underestimate the power of setting goals. So definitely do that. Okay? So those are the three things that you should do to make you happier this year and especially in life moving forwards. Have the right people around you. Be careful of what you consume on a daily basis and set yourself goals. I hope you take this on board and it helps you out. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and I'll see you again next week for a packed week full of videos.